noticed that you guys had a really aggressive approach today, you know, with a lot of going for it on fourth down. Um, you know, what led to the decision to uh, be that aggressive? Was that part of the game plan coming in? Well, I mean, it's what we want our identity to be. I think we were able to stay in rhythm and in sync, you know, so we, we got to convertible fourth downs, um, you know, by having positive traction on third down. And I think that goes into, you know, it comes into play. Um, we also knew that this needed to be a game where we limited possessions for the opponent. And so, um, you know, I think that the, the um, emphasis was on staying on track on third down to give us, us ourselves a chance to go for it on fourth. Um, you know, we were able to do that. And, you know, we were able to have some success there uh, converting those fourth downs, obviously not enough. But um, that was that was certainly part of the plan, but I think also just a part of our identity in general. Chris. Hey, hey Clark, what did you see as the difference in winning and losing tonight? I well, um, I, I felt like, first of all, we, we didn't start well, and this has been a theme this season, you know, and um, I think in some ways it's as you, as you get through the end of the year, especially in your you're thinning out in your ranks, you know, just trying to simulate the speed that you're going to see on Saturday becomes a challenge. And I'm not talking about the tempo of the offense. I felt like we were well conditioned. I did not feel like we were wilting at the end of drives. Just seemed like we were early on um, having trouble catching up to the to the speed that Ole Miss had, particularly at receiver. Um, offensively, we stalled out in the first two. There was a sack on a third and three that um, that uh, prevented us from from a fourth down attempt or a conversion. And then we, we had too many um, just procedural issues again, and, and some of those came up at the center position. But early on in the second drive, we had a, a freeze call made where we were going to line up and go through cadence but not snap it, um, you know, in hopes of getting a, a cheap five yards. And, you know, we snapped the ball. So uh, those things are within our control. Um, as far as winning the game, we knew that they had a dynamic player at quarterback. I did not feel like we made enough plays on him when we had opportunities, particularly in the first half. Um, yeah, there was a couple of times where he, we had him in the backfield, um, you know, and, and had a chance to, um, to finish with a sack that would obviously have been huge for our momentum. Uh, one of those ended in a touchdown drive uh, there on their, on their fourth possession. Um, when we executed our plan, when we controlled the game on offense, we finished with points, we had long drives, um, we kept the ball out of their hands and kept their offense on the sideline. When we did that, when we played complimentary, you know, when we were able to, to pin them or force them to drive the length of the field, um, you know, I felt like we, we were in control. You know, when we didn't do those things, they made us pay for it. And we, we spotted them 10 points at the start of the game and um, gave them a short field at the uh, at the end of the first half there that they, they were able to capitalize on a touchdown. And then um, the, the other touchdown score was on the drive where we missed a, an opportunity to sack the quarterback. You know, you have to make the plays and you have to interlock all three phases. And um, we weren't able to do that um, effectively enough tonight. Bobby? Uh, Clark, with, you know, over 450 yards of offense against the number 12 team in the country, um, what's, you know, how do you strike the bounce both in terms of like conversations, you know, what you say to the team after the game and maybe in practice this coming week, as well as, you know, when you evaluate the tape and all that sort of stuff, how do you weigh, you know, and strike that balance between uh, maybe your team is improving late in the season, but at the same time, it's still a loss? Well, um, you know, no matter the results of the game, we always, by the time we're looking at it on Monday, we're, we're just pulling the learning from it to, to apply it moving forward. Um, obviously yardage isn't the goal, you know, um, you know, there, there, there are performances that will, will highlight that, you know, we had guys step up and make plays. And um, again, you know, I, I think it's like uh, for us, it, you know, we talk all week about a plan to win a path to win and, you know, us moving the ball on offense, obviously, is a part of that plan to win. We're not surprised when we do that. That's the expectation. 
I think for us, it's more looking at the times when we stall out or when we, again, self-sabotage with procedural, procedural penalties um, and, and fixing those issues. Um, this team has gotten better um, through the course of the year, I think, um, in tangible ways and then in ways that are, that are internal, you know, ways that are in our locker room that, that uh, the team knows, but maybe that no one else does. You see, uh, it's a high character team. It's a team with a lot of fight in it. Uh, but this is a team that's desperate to win, and we get one chance to do that here at the end of the season. You know, we're gonna we're gonna put everything on the table this week to um, to go out and fight for that outcome that we want. Um, again, going back on the road in, in conference, which is an awesome uh, thing. So, um, you know, we have a lot ahead of us um, for the positive and a lot to build off of. But this is going to be about how we put everything on the table to get a result this week. Are you? Um, you know, back at SEC Media Days, you were talking about some of your goals for the season, and one of the things you were talking about was kind of, you know, making the opponent nervous in the fourth quarter, uh, you know, with, with the game being close. Is this the kind of um, thing that you were talking about when when you envisioned that back, you know, before the season started? Yeah, I mean, I think we want to be in position to apply pressure. And I think for this team, it's learning how to get to that moment where we can break through. And, you know, I, I you know, I don't know necessarily that, um, you know, let's, let's put the ball in the end zone there on that two minute drive and let's get, let's get the onside kick and let's really put some pressure. So, um, but uh, again, I, this team is designed to fight and they fought, they, they have a deep respect and appreciation for each other that shows up in the way they play. And, um, you know, if we can, if we can just grab control over the things that we control, um, I think part of this is, is the pain of learning how to win, learning how hard it is to win, particularly on the road and, um, and finding a way to get control of those things earlier so that we can be in position to, to, to score, to go ahead of the finish. That would be the goal. Chris. Yeah, Clark, I've got two unrelated questions. First one, how do you evaluate Mike's performance tonight? I thought it was gutsy. I thought he competed hard. Um, obviously, it's it's going to be imperfect, but performance is never perfect. Um, you know, he he uh, he converted with his legs. He converted throwing. We have to continue to build chemistry between quarterback and receiver. You know, in our first possession, the second half, um, we had three fourth down conversions and then we, we missed on our final fourth down attempt in their territory. But to me, the story of that drive was just miss misses on one on one throws on the perimeter. You know, we got receivers that can go get it. We have to build that chemistry where when we're throwing back shoulder, it's it's two guys on the same page that becomes really hard to defend. Um, you know, so we have to continue to hone that chemistry even here in the last week. Um, but I thought, um, you know, Mike was a, a competitor out there. I thought he he um, he uh, did a lot of really good things. We came up short, which means he came up short too. But um, there's going to be a lot to build off of and, and grow through. Next one, I noticed, I guess this was maybe the second quarter. Uh, you, you put in Brooks and Warden for Clemens and Hernandez. Were there injuries in play? Was it a effective decision? What was going on there? Um Brooks, he is, has been um, working in through the season. He's, um, you know, he's developing as a young player and becoming dependable. And he's gotten those opportunities in past weeks. You know, he got it tonight and was playing well. And so he was able to to stay in there for us. Um, with Hernandez, we, we were just having trouble with, um, we had too many procedural penalties that, that were, affected by the center position we needed somebody to come in and stabilize the operation and um, we felt like Mike Warden was able to do that for us and um, you know that was just that was a stop gap tonight where we needed to um, we needed to make sure we, we need to stop sabotaging drives and so it's about effectiveness at that point coach thanks for your time thank you
Hey, Mike, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I got you. All right. If we got questions for quarterback Mike Wright, raise your hand. Chris Lee, go ahead. Oh, I can't hear you, Mr. Chris. I think your mic is still muted. Oh, yeah. Yes, there it is. is. I, I got you. How did you feel about the way you guys played tonight? And I know that the, the points on the scoreboard weren't there, but you moved the ball pretty well. You got into scoring territory a lot. Uh, how would you evaluate what you guys did well and, and maybe what happened where you guys um, had the shortcomings with penalties and such? Yeah, I mean, as always, I mean, we're going to have to go back and watch the film to, to really see um, what we did well and what we need to improve on. But um, just one thing that I'm, I'm really – I'm just proud of the way this team is fighting. I mean, we're, we're continuing to grow. We're continuing to grow as offense. I'm really proud of our defense. They had a big task today. Um, and what I'm really proud of is when we play complimentary football, like we was, we was moving the ball, we were getting stops on defense, special teams is playing really great. So, I mean, it's there. And that's what I'm most excited about. So it's there. I know it's there. I mean, we all can feel it's there. We just got to hang on to it and just put, put it together for four quarters. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, you guys went went for it on fourth down a lot tonight. Um, you know, what what did you think of, you know, all those uh, kind of all that kind of aggression tonight? And then, you know, what, what do you think uh, was the difference between, you know, some of the plays that that worked and then some of those ones, especially the one in the fourth quarter that that didn't work? Yeah, I mean, well, as an offensive player and as a, as a quarterback, you want to be on the field every single time. I would go for it on four down on our minus 20 if I could. So, um, I mean, I'm just – that's just who I am naturally as, a, as an aggressive player. But um, that was just a, the flow of the game. I mean, we, we, were, we were already converting earlier on in the down. I mean, we were consistently moving the ball. So, um, I have full trust in the coaches. They have full trust in this offense. So, I mean – we we're all on the same page. We we're going out there and going for fourth down. I mean, hey, I mean, that was just what we were going to do. So there was no hesitation about that. And it's just as far as just the plays that work and the plays that didn't, I mean, that's just football. I mean, has, I mean, we have respect for Ole Miss. I mean, they're a good team. But I think when we go back and actually watch the film, there's going to be more about what Vanderbilt football did versus what Ole Miss football did to Vanderbilt. I think we had a lot of uh, plays where we were one back. I think there's a lot of plays where um, – we can kind of control the outcome. They didn't really do too much. Anything special is more of us. And so, I mean, of course, we'll go back and clean those things up. But, I mean, as far as plays working and not working, that's just football. I mean, we lit a fight another day. All we're going to do is just improve. We're going to come back and prepare. So. All right. Do you have another? Okay. That's all we got for you, Mike. Thanks, man. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Hey, Rocco, can you hear me okay? Zaggy. All right. Does anybody have any questions for Vanderbilt running back Rocco Griffin? Chris, go ahead. Hey, Rocco, you guys got some things going in the running game, especially early. Looked like the holes were maybe bigger than you've seen in some other games. How do you evaluate what you guys did um, as running backs and also what you saw in front of you? in terms of what the line was giving you? Oh, yes, sir. We just really just took preparation to performance. Um, all week we've been, we've been pulling our schemes. We knew they were going to run the odd front. Um, big name for that was just our nose and our guard, our um, center and our guard and that block. So um, really just taking preparation to performance and applying it in the game led to success. Chris, you have another? Are you? No, Go I'm good. Um, you know, what kind of informed your guys' um, aggressive approach tonight, you know, particularly when it came to fourth downs? And, you know, what do you think was the difference between maybe some of the successful plays and then some of the unsuccessful plays? Yeah, um, as far as the aggressive approach, you know, we try to approach every game with the aggressive approach, to be honest with you. My flight today, it was just executing. We had a lot of self-sabotage with penalties. And I think that was really just the biggest thing that separated some of the, some of the successful plays from the non-successful plays. Okay, that's it, man. Appreciate your time. All right, man. Appreciate you.